Give me some control. Jeez. Alrighty. Hello and welcome to Live Candlepin Bowling, Putnam Street Lanes, Fitchburg, Mass. Me, myself, and I. One of these days, Chris will be back in action. He, ha he has a life. <laughs> anyway, here at Putnam Street. Last week was okay. You know I, how I don't like bowling with a wall on my left to my right? It doesn't bother me at all. Somehow I did okay, although I had that 76 at the end, but I'm also keeping quiet because it's kind of quiet in here now. But supposedly, because it's raining over here, this place generally will fill up quick. So you might be moved to the spot that we normally put you, next to the wall. So without further ado, let's just, let's just see if crap happens and then we warm up or maybe things will go. Starting the week as usual. That's a second. So close to lobbing. Yeah, typically even competitions if you lob ever so slightly, which I just barely did not. Yeah, they look the other way. Anyway, it's time for two L stink of the bonus balls. Hello, Gunther. Half was to right and then strike on the next frame. Two well stink of the bonus balls. What will they add up to? And yes, here at Putnam Street, I have double striked multiple times. And multiple times screwed out of a triple by one. That were only ball one, but a spare on strike, not bad. Right. 
It's time for it to make its appearance. It's El Stanko the Bonus Ball. Epco Urethane Pro Line, the only thing professional you'll see about this run. What will this one give us? El Stinko lives up to its name with a three. Oddly enough, that was a better, more centered ball. Saved it with nine. And with that, we recite the half times and show you the final. Because it's a pain to take the phone on and off, on and off, and realign it. Anyway, first half, seven and a six, followed by a strike, followed by a spare, meaning that's a 10. That will be a uh, obvious 10 fill for the strike. And then a nine. Unfortunately, the first ball only knocked down three, making that fill. We're at 55. Hello, Ben. It's time for you to wreck the rack. Well, we did that already. Let's see if we can do it even more. And remember, just because the half is at 50 or over is not indicative that it'll be a three-digit score. But sometimes it is. pins left, but that ball was too far left. We got nine. Double wood for the eight. burn out or could it be that things are finally starting to come into play there's something's finally clicking or is it dumb luck el stinko the bonus ball we already made our minimum acceptance with two frames left according to icba standards of casual league bowlers not people like myself that walk in casual league and I put myself at a slightly higher elevation just for the goal not as I'm good or anything they average 80 to 100 and I've actually seen that firsthand so ICBA's records are correct 
So if I'm between 80 to 100, which I'm already in, good. Let's see what else Stinko does for us. Yeah, I think it was just dumb luck. Hell, Stinko really stunk there with a single tip. Welcome to Putnam Street. with El Stinko. Yeah, I think El Stinko doesn't deserve the limelight at this point. For me, especially, not a bad start. Not even bad at all. That sucked, that sucked. That fill sucked, that fill and that fill sucked royally. But 104. But remember where we're bowling. Now it's time for that uh, game. I still think I got my, do I have it still? I think I don't have it anymore. Oh, I do. I'll tell you what I have in just a moment. All right. After every game, they have a number in which you try to match. And if you match it, you win a free game. I had to get a 116 to get a free game. But remember, last time, we did match. And we won a free game. So I'm going to put this where I won't forget it. And then forget all about it. Game number two. Starting off slightly better with eight. Oh, I don't want to alpha omega sin people. I thought the game's kind of fun. We free every, every hundred or so. <laughs> yeah, I play the game. Hope, you know, good or bad, hopefully it matches. I guess the match goes anywhere from 50 to 120. That's what I'm noticing. Thank <laughs> you. 
definitely beats the six from the second frame in the game previous. So that means it's El Stinko the bonus ball time. What will the bonus be? It's Mr. Kaliri. Say hi to Bob Kaliri. At least the five fill is okay. El Stinko stinks for leaving Bob Kaliri. Well, no curse of the fill. Bob Kaliri's uh, big toe is still jammed in the door there for now. The one thing I gotta keep watching when the sweeper is done is see if pins are stuck in the pit. That happens a lot at this place. It's illegal to throw a ball if there's anything in the pit that could possibly aid in the score. Nine again. And 10, before we hit the button, because it's going to do an animation to slow things down, I'll tell you what the halftime is. Got an 8, then a spare, then a 9, the first ball knocking down 5, leaving Bob Kaliri, and then another 9, and now at 10, we are standing at 51. There, now I don't have to wait for the thing to do its animation, although I could just shut it off. Yeah, I'm wondering if something's finally starting to click after all these years. But like I said, it could also be dumb luck, but I would hope that it's clicking. Things are starting to finally click. I think there's a pin stick. Okay. Yeah, I gotta keep an eye on that. It's time for El Stinko yet again. It seems when you don't give him the limelight today, they'll at least give you something decent. leaves how I hate thee, although it's considered not a bad one, especially with the piece of wood in the middle there. Although that looks like it's behind the two, not in front of it. 
six fill isn't bad. Leave the middle finger standing alone for the nine. Three frames to get four to meet minimum. For those of you that hold the phone vertically, although it should be pretty obvious regardless, that was a 10. who's playing they're not all going to be anywhere near the mark at times that's a nine still looking really good One probably wouldn't have counted. I think that lobbed a hair. Hey, broken record. If you know what the, for the first game was, you know what it is for this one. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, nothing really bad there. Just not enough marks to make it really help a lot. 104. If I start to speed up and the quality of the game goes down accordingly. Although the funny thing is with my bowling, it seems if my if my accuracy goes up, the speed of the ball actually goes up. But that's without forcing. Let ebb and flow happen. Well, if I got a 77, I would have won another free game, but. I'd rather the 104, so 208 trip. So let's see. I'm going to jinx it by calculating what I need to beat my craptacular high triple of 325. I need 121 to tie it, 122 to inch over it.
Welcome to Putnam Street. Unfortunately, due to ICBA rules, a ball heading down must hit wood or a standing pin to count before it goes into the wall, into the back wall. That did not happen. It sailed clear past everything. Therefore, that's a nine. Back to normal. Eight. So yeah, I got unfortunate. Oh, well, unfortunately, I didn't see the wood. So yeah, I'm gonna stick with the. I'm just gonna stick stick with the safety nine. Another nine. Now that one, if the wood ball stayed on the lane and hit that piece of wood in the gutter, it would come. But it would have to be on the lane. Now, from what I remember, and I could be wrong, and you guys could be right, is I remember the ball clearly go hitting nothing, then hitting the back wall, then taking out wood, then took out the pin. That is a no-go. Has to be on the way out. Has to be before the curtain. All right, frame four. Some of it came back. I want to see more of it come back. It's also time for El Stink with a bonus ball. Let's see what this one gives us. When it matters, it sucks. That's a two. All 
All right, we got a decent eight. Halftime report. Nine, eight, nine. Spare and an eight, but unfortunately, ball one only took out two for the fill. We're at a decent 46, but the triple. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we could kiss that one goodbye. Now the problem is, if I do an instant replay, you'd lose the stream. And by this point, I don't, if that were a spare, I don't think that would be, and I'd have to take a zero anyway. So it would be a 47, so no, no difference. That's an eight. And I will have absolutely no doubt that you saw something that I didn't. But as I always say, I'd rather err on the, eye, on the side of safety because I don't want to have a score that I ultimately didn't earn. Now we're only ball two. I think my other problem with that shot is I wasn't watching the damn thing. So that's a 10. an instance where it does count. The ball hit the pin, bounced off the wall, and took out the other pin. Ten. Yeah, so long as the ball hits something live on its way out, even if it deflects hard and bounces back and forth in the gutters before going into the pit, it counts. There was an instant in New Palace where that happened. All right, two frames against six. deserve all that. Thank you, Putnam Street. You got eight. Street spare. 
But yes, that is where I threw the ball. It wasn't off target. Anyway, it ends with El Stinko. There's no high triple. But we can still go out with a big bang. Uh, well, the way El Stinkos have been on here is probably not. It's still not a bad game. That feel sucked. That feel definitely sucked. I have watched all eight seasons. There's a ninth. Well, actually, there's still one month of the... F where they did Ultimate Skins for real. Yes, Gunther has proven... At least the three, yep, at least the 300 mark was broken. We can't argue with that. That's a good thing. I think that's 301. Not bad. Disappointing when you have a single that's been, I mean, a triple that's been standing for a while. When you should be getting better at this. Although I'm hitting 300 more often, so. I wins another free game. I couldn't hit these worth a damn. Now suddenly I'm, every day I come here I match. Now that I said that, I won't match again. All right, she witnessed that the 93s are matching. So on to game number four. Again, that is just dumb luck and hello dog. Game number four. We broke 300 series. And once again, we matched the winning number game by my score actually matching its random draw. Can we match two times? All these years I've never matched. Well, actually, I think I've matched a few times, but didn't know there was a contest involved. Okay. Game number four. But ever since I knew, Start with 10. Thank you, Gutter.
I will now spoil it by saying, so far we got a perfect game. Unlike 10 pin and duck pin, in candle pin, you just need to knock all the pins down in your turn. I could get 10 frames, all 10s, and it's a perfect game. All 10 frame strikes and perfect fills never happened anywhere. Ralph Semb and Carl Sargent co-hold the world record for the highest scoring game of 245. Two El Stinkos. Let's see what this gives us. And I have double striked here multiple times and a few times got screwed by one pin for triple. Wow, welcome to Mason's turned into welcome to Putnam Street. What a garbage ball, but I love the pin action. Oh. Dance around it and just tickle it. That's it. Oh, nine fill is definitely good. And a nine. Oh, she turned on all the lights. Good one, Ben. The wall's tumbling down. Tumbling down. Tumbling down, yeah. Coming and tumbling. I took a risk, I took a risk, because there's an edge that the pin just gets stuck on and rocks back and forth. If I hit that thing and it caused pins to fall, then I would forfeit what, I'd forfeit whatever would have fallen and had the eight anyway. Oh, it's halftime. You got a 10, then a strike, and then a 9, which happens to be the fill, then a pair of 8s. We're at a pretty decent 54. Yeah, I was hoping the helicopter would have got it too. But I love the moment when it was Welcome to Mason's, then Putnam Street did its thing and it became Welcome to Putnam Street. Definitely getting points I don't deserve, but we'll take them.
I'll screw this up by saying it, but we haven't got a stink frame yet. A week seven. We got a nine. Three frames to get ten for minimal. Oh, I never mentioned high single, 148 done on this lane. High triple 325 done at New Palace. Rest in peace. I think the only thing that's in its future is a wrecking ball. Unfortunately. And then, yeah, worst single was 44 at Mason's when I started to try to do it the right way instead of counterbalanced. Although I've been doing it on counterbalance a little bit when I got the 44. If you ever watch old videos of people handle pin bowling, they would have a ball in their other hand while shooting with their main hand. And that's what I did in Watch Me Suck at Bowling, but instead of ball, I held a camera for the counterbalance. And then the first time at Lita Lanes, we did away with that. comes the great collapse. High low jack for seven. frame need four to hit middle of average 80 to 100 average skill of a casual league bowler from fcba records and i've actually seen records of casual league bowling. It does it does match up 100 percent legit fact the 80 to 100 so smack dab in the middle if i do a stink frame of four A great collapse. Oh, yeah. Here comes the great collapse. Still not bad. Weak, weak. Decent fill, weak. Still got a 93. Not gonna, not gonna argue with that. Well, 
it's not uncommon that people get like 30s or 40s in the first game. In fact, I've seen one guy who couldn't get who couldn't get out of 10. Ah, my 93 this time didn't match. I needed a 79, but I'll take my 93. We matched once, so hey, there we go. Game number five. Welcome to Putnam Street. Yet another undeserved higher score. That's an eight. My legs still got the spare. So now it's time for El Stinko the bonus ball. Let's see what we get. Wood had to be behind the five pin, didn't it? Although it's ahead of the eight pin, so week four, but some possibilities. I did what you're not supposed to do and got lucky. I went for broke. Should have went for the easy two for the lousy uh, seven. Nine. For those people that say this place juices, the way that head pin just died and fell over proves you. Besides going up there with a dry palm, rubbing my hand on the deck and it's still dry. Again, proof. It's legit. Ten pin decks. That's why. King remains for the nine.
It was wrong, but I thought it had a chance. It did. And now for the halftime. Eight, spare, nine, first ball knocking down four. Another nine and a spare. So far, halftime is 50. Yeah, Ben, I, if I can, I typically throw 10 pounders because I don't play that game too often. I'll go as high as 13. But because I rarely play 10 pin, I go lighter which you're kind of supposed to do if you're not a frequent bowler of 10 pin. Whereas here, you have a choice of two pounds, four ounces, which practically just bounce off the pins, two pounds, five ounces, which a lot of cheap house balls are, two pounds, six ounces, the green balls here are those. Oh, and two fives are the oranges. And if you feel like Hulk Hogan and you want to show off your muscle, you get the ones like I do that are two pounds, seven ounces, which is the highest legally allowed ball in weight. So it's one ounce lighter than candle pins. Each candle pin is two and a half on the nose or ever so slightly less. Halftime, 50, El Stinko. Let's see. Yeah, and that's what my uh, Epco uh, balls are. They're two sevens, the Hulk Hogan's. The ones where you're flexing. Then it hooked way left. This time, Bob Kaleri showing up and showing his right side. The five fell ain't too bad, but stinks for leaving the Kaleri. So that's a 55 half. Oh well, no curse of the fill at least, that's an eight. Actually did go where I wanted, but I didn't think it would get a spare. That wood was hanging out enough to completely miss the seven, but it didn't. Anyway, it's time for El Stinko yet again. Let's see what we get this time. say that's not a bad leaf but remember who's trying although I'm kind of on point today maybe it'll turn out okay the fill is pretty good with six the first spare fill that's actually good five is okay four is weak and we all know the rest I'll jinx it by saying this, I may have crappy fills, but the curse from the fills hasn't happened yet. All right, I need, well, I'm not gonna say anything, because that usually jinxes something else.
why we had to wait for that wood to rest, because I my aim was off, and if that was moving and I hit it, that pin wouldn't count. Alrighty, I will say it, because the odds of it hap of being an ultra mega stink frame is pretty low. I need that many for my score to have that many numbers in it. There's one of them. That's a Putnam Street Spare. I know I risk making it suck, but here, put it in the limelight. It's El Stinko. A Putnam Street Spare with what fill? Yeah, they don't deserve to be on camera. They get an ego and screw me over. Oops, I made a mistake. My tenth frame was a spare. The fill was a two. That's better. Some Putnam Street action, though. Well, the fills kind of sucked, especially that one there. There it is. Or a 110. But remember where we're bowling. And yes, I will admit, more on point than normal. Actually doing somewhat decent. If I scored 40 points less, I would have matched a second time. But I'd rather keep my 110. Number six. No, that, it's just Putnam Street action. They have 10 pin decks, which are perfectly legal. The older 10 pin decks, ones that allow pins to slide sideways. You know how on modern day 10 pin, in order to get a 710, you gotta hit the pin, bounce it off the back wall, and hope that it reflects back and takes the 10. The older pins, if you just barely miss throwing a gutter ball, just before the ball goes in the gutter, you just touch the seven pin, it would slide to the right and take the 10. That's how you used to be able to do it. And that's the kind of pin, 10 pin pin plates that are here. Which is why people accuse this place of greasing the pits, but they don't. I took, I've got many videos proving that, including rubbing my dry palm onto the, onto the so-called juiced plates, showing that it was still dry after it was done. Game number six, they just can't stand that a guy can make the pins move as good as places that do juice the lanes. Game six. If you saw that shot, I forget which game, where the, where the head pin just, just stopped dead and fell down. That doesn't happen in juice lanes.
one fell out slightly, but we got eight. And the, uh, the three-week uh, strike drought was over in the first game. And had Leo's Super Bowl, which, like I said, very last episode, you'll see why I didn't record a video or live stream for there that from that week. And then no strikes when I was with my father last week. So it's actually been three weeks because there was a gap because the way Thanksgiving lined up. So finally, game one today, the strike streak is starting again. And then I do it. Just behind the log. Like I always say, if it's a hair over, people tend to ignore that, even in competitions. But it was behind the line. And once again, and once again, two El Stinkos, 10 horizontal pids, a good way to put it. Two El Stinkos, uh, several times I've double striked. Three times I got screwed by one pin from a triple. Never have done that anywhere. Well, Putnam Street action didn't give me a spare, but the kingpin is fat and remains for nine. That's for the fill. That was dumb luck. Hit fair wood, so ten. And as always, dumb luck is greatly accepted. Actually, I'll take that back. It was just bad aim. I wouldn't call it dumb luck because I did see there was a possibility. But there are dumb luck spares or strikes or general throws because nobody could see what the end result was. Time to jinx it by telling you how I'm going to go about it. I'm going to try to cap, hit the, that piece of wood that's in front on the left. So it'll fling to the 10 pin. The ball and or that pin that's behind that other wood will hit the 7.
I are good. Well, you know, that is actually where I aimed, so can't say can't say that my aim was bad. I just made a really bad decision. I don't get them all I don't get them right all the time. Couldn't have happened anyway, so can't wish all two there. But that piece of wood would have been in the way. Anyway, we got a half time of an eight, another strike, a ten. First two balls knocking down nine with that weird Putnam Street seven from the first ball. Then an eight and a ten. We're again at 55. Half time? Well, not half time, half of the game, but there will be a half time. Now, imagine if I could do this at Mason's. Then I definitely can't say I'm sucking today. Although I still can't say that. Again, two L Stinkos again. Let's try and get another one of those doubles. Stinks more for the split there. Seven feels all right. For the score, good. For a strike, yeah. Oh. Who would have thought on a strike? Curse of the fill. Seven. All right, I got three frames to get one to hit minimal acceptance. think so because it was going to cap and fling right, but apparently it was not capped enough, so it hit. So we got a nice little spare there. Thanks again, Gunther. Time for another El Stinko. They've done horribly if I give them the give them the spotlight. So I just mention it here and then just throw it there and hopefully they don't realize they're El Stinko. There you have it, people. Not only is El Stinko stinking with a three, it left a spread eagle with prey in one talent. So we're set up for failure here. Best thing to do, as Dennis Nuzzo says, less into more. Because one of those pins could hit that nine pin and cause a domino effect.
Well, we barely avoid a stink frame with a lovely five. Another curse of the fill. Oh, there's another frame. I thought it was over. All right, that many pins for that many numbers. with a nine and again not a bad score at all and even though it's Putnam Street I am admitting I'm pretty much mostly been on point today that frame sucked the fills weren't too bad but we got curse of the fill through the uprights well, it's kind of like football, where the ball goes in between the big, uh, the big upright posts at the uh, in the end zone. Anyway, let's hit this again so I can see a little more. Oh, this fourth hundred. Gunther, no, I did not know it was you, Mr. Chuck Fry. I might have forgotten from a long time ago. And yes, I do love putts, because even when I'm not doing so well, I can usually bowl at least a bottom end of average skill game most of the time. Ooh, 98 I needed to match, but we got the one. It is now halftime. to hit them early in their cleaning cycle because the bowling balls are coming back fairly clean. Not that much dirt coming back on them. So we're going to go to game seven and take care of the... Oh, all right. Yeah, and football good, exactly. Thank you. 
the one on the right because the one on the left is kind of controversial. Some say if you hit that third pin in the gutter on the plate, it counts, and some say they, they don't. So I went for the least controversial and missed it for you. That was not what I was going for, but it was a possibility. Ten. Once again, time for a stink of the bonus ball. Since it's within earshot, here it is. It knows. And that's why we're trying to not tell them that they're all staying. Got a ten. Then we get another ten. So before I put it in the scoreboard, we got an eight, ten, spare. 10, but the first ball only took down one because it knew it was a stinko and a strike. We are 49 with two all stink. I'll just repeat this stuff as uh, people come in and off, on and off and I forget to. High single 148 done here on this lane. 325 triple done at New Palace. Rest in peace. I think the wrecking ball is its only destination at this point. And the low 44 Masons when, for like maybe the first month or so, I started bowling without being, uh, without having a counterweight. And I have a feeling at New Palace, they'll be wrecking quite a few of the racks. So let's see if we can get a double. I've done that here quite a few times. I got a double, that is two pins.
That makes the half of 57. Middle finger remains for nine. Another nine. Well, well, if it ain't another Kaliri. Let's see if we can get rid of him. That's an achievement, showing Bob Kaliri the door in a single ball. Which now means it's time for El Stinko. Yeah, I know, Bob does not again. Oh. Yeah, I think they know when it's their turn. They almost always suck. Couldn't go a day without a stink frame, could we? One point to meet middle of average. Pretty much was what was going to happen. Not bad. Maybe capping it might have. That frame sucked royally. Every fill sucked royally, except for the strike. 98. If I did worse and got a 73, I would have won another free game. All right, there we go. Game number nine. Or eight. The video quality isn't the best here. 
then again, if you try to up with, with composite or anything else, apparently if you get a turkey, it screws up and computers have to be reset, so. I got screwed. Perfect ball and got screwed. Seven. hitting that ridge again so we gotta wait for it to settle down if we throw it and we know it's rolling and we use it it's no good however there is an exception where everything appears still and once you've thrown it it starts to move it's still considered good Near perfect. Just a hair left, but still was enough. Time for El Stinko. Let's see what she gives us. When it matters, it always fails. I should have say almost. El Stinko stinks with three. First of the fills are making their ugly returns with seven. to normal here. Seven, nine, spare. Curse of the fill with seven. First ball knocking down three. And an eight. We're at the bottom end of average so far with a 44. I 
think it's time to quit. That would not have counted because that was a log. That's an eight. Three frames we hit 19. gonna say hit any one and I'll be happy. Hit the middle one, be even happier. Hit the middle one dead on, still okay, just no spare. But we got it, El Stinko, you know the drill. They know, just ain't worth it. Barrel Stinko, that was good. That's a new one. Hey. It's disappearing. The second one, though, would give it, would take it away. Been stuck in the pit. We'll take the eight. Again, another not so bad game. All right. That was weak, that was weak. Phil sucked. That one was actually good for some reason. That's a 95. number match. If I got a 74, another free game. So we won a free game again this time. 
Now the question is, will she let me just keep the coupon and deduct? Or does she have to write a new one? Because I didn't see if she had to write something specific for a specific time. Yeah, they'll have to write a new one because when I match last time is here, October 30th, that kind of dates it. They might just still say save it. Save a few small trees by not having to use another one. Game number nine. Game number nine. you up against the wall so this place is filling up. Game number nine. If they're needing lanes, lanes eight and or nine, then you're, we're going to put you where we've been putting you. Not the best of views, but it's out of everyone's way. The reason I started putting it here was they, they got rid of the Wi-Fi for their own use. And they had to put the camera here to get a good mobile signal. Game number nine. Welcome to Putnam Street. All right, have a good one, Gunter. Exactly where I wanted it. Time for El Stinko. Let's see if we can get another actually good fill on a spare. That would have been a Putnam Street strike. Another actually good fill. I mean, the five was okay and the six was technically good. But the eight last time and the nine now? Oh, good. Two in a row. And here's another difference between candle pins and the rest. If I can mark a third time, regardless of whether they're strikes, spares, or any combination, it's a turkey. And at that point, I will take the phone down and show you the animation. It's highly unlikely, but it does happen. So let's see what El Stinko does this time.
Well, some say that's actually good. The four horsemen with a piece of wood between the six... No, between the four and the ten. I mean, between the four and the seven. I'm thinking opposite. Again, good, but not good. Fill a six. And even if your aim is off, that piece of wood helps. And it saved it from a curse. Decent eight. Time I went for the easy two, got one of them, and not for the glory, because that could backfire. Better chance of at least getting one, so we did. And then eight. Here's the halftime report. We got an eight, and lane seven and eight are being used now, so we'll move you a little more this way. All right, so halftime, we got an eight, then a spare, then another spare, the first ball knocking down nine, then an eight, first ball knocking down six, and another eight, 59. And we got seven and eight up and running now. So we're gonna move you over, and I gotta cut across. Stinko. Ah, oh, this is another way around the table. Hard to do since it's permanently attached to the floor. Now Stinko was a seven, a good seven. I'm 
another two. And we got a niner. And let's hit the one that's on my side. There we go. That frame sucked. That's pretty much it. Dollar ten. But remember where we are. And yes, I do admit I'm on point this time. Mostly. It's fading, but it's mostly there. Yeah. All right, let's see if we match again. Yes. And now to the desk again. She apparently has stepped out for the moment, so we're kind of in a holding pattern because it has to be witnessed in order to claim it. And the lady of the house is currently not available, so we got to sit and wait. We've got a pretty full house here so far. Group on lanes one and two, group on three and four. Now group next to us seven and eight. And then we got new life. Yeah, there's people waiting at the desk for the And here she is. All right, 
Wait, it's been verified. On we go. Number 10. Yes, Ben. Nine in. A 110 match. This has been a good run. I'm hoping something's finally starting to stick after six years. Let's start at number 10. There's a rule in book candle pin that using your wall, using the wall to steady yourself so you don't fall and get a foul. Counts against you, so spare. The important thing is I did not go over the line. And now it's time for a stick up. She already gave me the two. If this were Mason's, that would have been what is known as grandma's teeth. The seven, eight, nine, and ten. but it did. Two else think of the bonus balls. Stinko's both stunk, four horsemen remaining for the six fill. And here's the lovely halftime. Spare. 
Nine, first ball knocking eight. Another nine, and then a strike. And then curse of the fill. Only the six from the strike. 58. And no, that ball didn't slip. I just plain suck. 58, though. If only ball two was that one. And that is an eight. Comes the great collapse. That's a six. Think of the bonus ball. Let's see what we get. And El Stinko of four will guarantee a three digit score. Four left standing to even better. Sure, if that would be a wish it was ball two moment, but we got ten. All right, that frame kind of stunk, and so did that one. Then the collapse went away, and we got a dollar eight. I try it to knock other people in, so yeah, I screwed my I screwed up my video here. There we go. Yeah, we can leave it there.
microphone cuts off the top and bottom. Well, if I got a 61, I would have wanted yet another free game. But I'll take 108. Number 11. Can I hit the thing? Hold on too long for the seven. This may be the game that was a throwaway. Welcome to Masons, that turned into a Putnam Street. Too. Well, that's all I could have tried doing. We got nine. Yeah, this is the junk game. Time we got seven seven nine seven nine. It's re it's doable with a thirty nine.
middle finger puts it on course for barely acceptable. This is the junk game, all those 80s, 90s, 100s, and now we're down to 70. Yeah, you guys are I have no idea how the seven pin fell, but since it hit legitimate wood or, and in this case, a standing pin, anything until it goes into pit is good, we squeak out a barely acceptable game for 10. Believe it or not, this is the low light. Suck. <laughs> Pardon me. Suck. 81. That's the low one. So far, no stinkers on the sheets. So now that I said that. And, well, if I got a 121, I would have got a third match. Final game. Yeah, Ben, bound to happen, but at least we haven't hit below average. Yeah, to keep hitting this thing. I don't get any more. 
bear's a pretty good start. Time for our stink of the bonus bear. Stinko went halfway to Worcester with two. Salvaged with an eight. I guess this is where the great collapse starts. So it's a five. Shorted it up a little bit, which means it's time for another El Stinko bonus ball. Surprisingly, I didn't think a ball that thin would get destroyed. That means two El Stinko the bonus balls and another attempt at doubling. If that were only ball one, we got the Emily. Which means El Stinko won, ruined a double. So now we got another El Stinko. Oh, it's too late. Apparently I got a turkey. Yeah, I got three marks. Let's see what this one Went for the points for the better fill, and that's an eight. I guess we're going out with a big bang this time. Thank you. 
another 10. This is the big one. Never mind the great collapse, this is the big one. The opposite. Fortunately, all the action beforehand did all the work. Sucked, weak, sucked, sucky weak fiddle there. 116, not too bad in actuality. And that will be it. Bowling, Putman Street, Fitchburg, Mass. Georgia 551 saying, hope you enjoyed. 81 below one today. Have a good one.